What's up, everybody? It's me, Erica. It's Friday. What's going on? We down here. We are down here. We're down here actually a little early because um, I didn't want to feel like I was rushing, trying to get back. So let's talk about it. Go ahead and like, subscribe, and comment. Let the even know you stopped by. We are going to talk about um, Beverly Hills. We'll come down here tomorrow and talk about New York because I haven't watched it yet. And we'll talk about marriage boot camp. So they're actually not going to be that long of videos because there was like really only one main, you know, plot. So let's talk about it. The sun. All right. So where's my notes? So let's talk about. So what you want to talk about first? Beverly Hills. We'll talk about Beverly Hills first. All right, so they start off where they left off and they're in the car on the way to Rome. And basically it's a bunch of shit until they get to the to the dinner table. Teddy's acting like Teddy's acting like she cannot it, like she can't she can't be around um Denise without telling her what's going on, like why she's upset or confront her. She needs to confront her. She's feeling sick about it. She can't, you know, <laughs> she can't help, help it anymore. It's bursting out. She doesn't know what to do. Her heart is beating fast. All this stuff. It was funny. I was like, okay, girl. We talk about Dorit and her styling and Erica and their styling. Can we just talk about that for just a second? Bitch. Erica Jane and Dorit, what's her last name? Helmsley? I don't know Dorit's last name. And Jane is not her last name either. Girardi. They dress so nice. They dress so nice. But I have a feeling, and I don't want to go too far out on a limb with it. I kept, that's why I was doing that because it's, it's hitting the top. My crown is hitting the top. I have a feeling that her stylist looks at black stylist because there's no reason in the world why Dorit should have pearls there's no reason why Dorit what's her last name why do Dorit should have pearls trailing her baby hairs that have been laid down <laughs> on her face it's no way where did you learn that from where did you get that from you didn't get that you got that from the girls down on Martin Luther King Boulevard Okay, that's where you got that from. There's no way in the world. I don't care what y'all say. There's no way in the world that her stylist. Because I, I was like, is her stylist black? Because I'm like, why do we have pearls, girl, on her face? But that's what the black girls do when they put that. That's the, the thing. You put your baby hairs down right here. And then you put pearls to line your baby hair. Or adornments whatever it is whatever you want it to be gems pearls whatever child i was looking like dorita i said and i thought and i was like where's her who's her stylist i for sure thought i was gonna see somebody black but it's a white girl i was like mm -hmm. okay so anyway so let's get back to teddy and she's so sick and i don't know what she's gonna do they went shopping it was cute they bought shit that jacket that um that coat honey that um garcelle had on was really really cute and i bet you it was so soft it just looked like it was a cloud draped on her shoulders it really did i think it was twenty thousand. she was like how much is this and lady was like don't worry about it <laughs> right bitch don't worry about it she didn't get it but they showed how much they spent that is what really housewives was supposed to always be about and i always touch on this every now and again because andy really his vision was to show the opulence of women kept women right um similar to like what you saw on a soap opera because he loves soap operas you know what i'm saying so i think that's what his goal was but what happened was he created an avenue for women who were otherwise housewives to create their own and have their own this is the reason why a lot of them end up in divorce because at first he was putting up with the shit there's no way shannon bedore didn't know that her husband was cheating on her there's no way there's no way that Adrian Maloof, what all 
if you go back and look at the history of divorce within the housewives and it's like you was married just fine and then all of a sudden you got on this television show and y'all getting a divorce now all of a sudden the cracks in your marriage are showing Gina Kehoe I think he ended up dying just a few like a less than a year ago that man she was married to that's baseball player um Vicky Gumbelson I mean we could go through all of them Nene Nene's the only one now not me um who else who else went back left and went back Doctor, well, I I won't I won't use Mary to medicine, but you can. There's enough samples that you can look at all of the housewives to see that. Yeah, I think it had a lot to do with first. Andy wanted to show like, okay, these are women living behind behind the gates. This is how they spend money. They're very rich. They do these things. But then it was like, what you really inadvertently did was create a space for these women to get up from underneath that type of, those types of relationships and leave their husbands and be independent. That's really what happened. <laughs> because if you look at it, it's there. The numbers are there, honey. Kim Richards calls her sister to let her know she's on her way to get new teeth. <laughs> Shout out to new teeth. And then did you hear Kyle say, new boobs, new teeth, who this? It's funny, and and I think that's why people, black people, get so they're so aggravated is because there was a time that our things that we said, our hairstyles, our lingo that were not acceptable in spaces with rich white women, and now you are using lingo, culture, hairstyles to just it's fun to you and this is where we come from and a lot of the times where we came from well most of the times where we came from was looked at looked down at who this kyle richards is that what you that's what you're saying girl okay i was like okay i see y'all i see what y'all doing garcelle um satin tells garcelle hey look i don't like the question i don't like that you asked me a question like that um, I don't know. Well, I mean, I guess for the for the sake of the show, you got to do it at a dinner table in front of everybody. Okay, okay, Sutton. Garcelle was like, "Girl, I'm blunt, so I know I'm sorry that I did that." And that, we talked about that on the last on the last review. That yeah, it's it's socially unacceptable to ask somebody how much money they look. I have to get my posture together. How, it's socially unacceptable to ask somebody, you know, what how much money they make. You know, I guess whatever. I was like, okay, son, it, girl, are you serious right now? That's what I wanted to say. The way that she was acting, going like this, oh God, when Denise and what's the other girl's name? Um, Lisa Ren and all them were talking about Denise. The way she was acting, like, oh my God, she's so, like, why are we doing this? That's how I wanted to act when you asked, told Garcelle about that question. But again, people act funny about money you know erica was like girl i married rich i said that i mean like girl what's the problem and to me i feel like if you did not marry rich and you didn't acquire your money through your marriage then she'd be m more okay with saying i would i was i'm a trust fund baby like um what's the girl's name tinsley tinsley i don't think tinsley tinsley might not care like I come from money i was you know i but then she also married into money so i mean it's a whole girl we could talk about it for days whatever teddy told teddy starts up the conversation because she can't hold it in she's busting at the seams somebody told me that you said some awful things about me and she was like what terrible things <laughs> what are these terrible things the and the terrible thing where well, they're so dramatic girl brandy said that y'all was fucking like i don't understand why it's just this build up but once again, we have a cast full of actresses. Don't forget that, y'all. Don't don't forget that we have a cast full of actresses, child actors, all the way up to current actresses. Garcelle is an actress today. They all acting, but Garcelle is the only one to me that I feel like is like, girl, just say it. Just say it. Erica's another one. Just say just say what it is. Mm, does Erica talk around? I don't know. But all that running around like what teddy was trying to do the build up like girl just tell the bitch that the girl said that y'all was fucking like and it's but i guess they're so cognizant of the cameras that they don't want to say anything that can't be it can all be it can be edited out and that's the reason why um erica was like 
I think it was on another interview, Erica said that um, Sutton was like, are they going to use that? And she was like, yeah, they're going to use that. Like, whatever happens, I feel like, I don't know. Then it, it goes against the, the entire structure of reality TV. Like what Lisa Renna said, like, girl, you're sitting here upset that your life is being recorded. Like, this is what the fuck you signed up for. And what's so damaging, I mean, if it was another man, I could see them being like, but it's Brandy Glanville. She lives on the outskirts of Beverly Hills. No tea, okay? It's like, girl, <laughs> what the fuck? First of all, and then she was like, Brandy's your source. Bitch, you slept with her? What the fuck? I don't know. Why do people act like when you sleep with somebody, you become their equal? I don't give a fuck. You laying down together. Y'all equals. So don't act like Brandy is this, oh my God, oh my God, this such a person that you can't re be a reliable So She was a reliable enough to have your face in between her legs, bitch. Like, what the fuck? Like, I'm like, okay, girl. Denise, and you sitting up there crying, what image are you trying to protect? Girl, you was married to Charlie fucking Sheen out here, walking around out here. What are you, what is it? And it's like, you signed up for this show. What are you trying to protect? We will never know what, what Denise is trying to protect. But it's like, okay, you, this has to be your last season because we can't walk around editing what, what what we're waiting for somebody else to edit right so you you walking around like okay well i don't want this bravo 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 i guess that's their safe word girl i was like this is a mess girl what is su what is such a big deal y'all tell me because i'm like i don't know it denise it like i said last week the only thing that is going to happen is who you believe based on the personality. Because we will never know the actual real truth. You are only going by, what do you think about Brandy? Have we seen evidence that Brandy has lied before? What do you think about Denise? Do we see what Denise what Denise has been trying to do all season? But Denise has Denise been trying to do that? Or is that what your producers are trying to get you to see? You understand what I'm saying? So as a whole, it's like, it just it just goes on who you want to believe, who you don't want to believe. I don't see it being such a big deal. Um, but if it was such a big deal that you wanted Aaron not to know, why did you make it seem like it was okay before? Brandy, a lot of people are like, well, Brandy, you know, she's this bold, you know, uh, no filters. She's this type of person. Why all of a sudden you all timid and stuff when you retelling the story, girl, like, oh my God, I don't know what to do. The only thing that I can attribute that to is that you don't want to be seen as a side chick. And that's been your issue with women the whole time. Like side chicks, you've been in a side chick situation. A side chick ruined your relationship. Not Eddie. Eddie didn't ruin your relationship. The woman ruined your relationship, child. <laughs> not Eddie. Not your husband. <laughs> so, child. Usually I can, usually I can ignore the people, but they look, they, child, I want to roll my window up. They look a mess. That's Ken, that's Karen and Darren. <laughs> okay. Brandy's your source, girl. She was the source of your pleasure. Well, I mean, like, come on. Like, y'all tell me what y'all think, because I think, I don't know. Like, it's like, who gives a shit? And what would be, to me, I always say, when people lie, you have to ask yourself, What's the motivation? What are they trying to gain? And what are they in fear of? People lie because they're in fear of something. In my theory, people lie because they're in fear of something or because they're trying to get something out of somebody or get something. They're trying to get something. Ask yourself, Brandy, what does Brandy have to gain? To be on Real Housewives of at Beverly Hills, I'm sure she could just ask them to come back. Can I come back? This is what I got going on in my life. What does she have to fear to lie? What would be the fear to, to, to start this lie? That's what I'm thinking. Denise, ask yourself, why does Denise have, what would be her motivation to lie and say that what, what this woman is saying is not, is not real, is not true? What's, her, what's your motivation? What does she fear? What is she trying to gain? Then you could determine like, okay, 
what does what is Denise trying to protect? That's that's the fucking mystery. This whole this whole fucking season has been Denise. It really has been Denise, girl. You have really. And I'm like, they're only on 12 episodes. That's what I was looking at. I was like, damn. It seems like they it's been a long time and they only have 12 episodes. I guess it's because they took that break. But what does what does either one of those women have to gain or what do they fear? To me, Brandy doesn't have anything to gain, nor do I feel she has anything to fear. Denise, on the other hand, the fear of your image. And the gain, it wouldn't be nothing to gain. You're you're acting out of fear. That's why you would lie, right? That's why I always say when people tell lies, that's my thing. So that's my theory. And that's what I use to determine like, okay, what's the motivation? And for people who have the, who don't need a motivation to lie, those are the motherfuckers you need to watch. Like, Brandy, what would be, what is the, why would she lie? Why would she lie? Why? That's my question. What would be the what would be the reason? What would be the game? What does she have to gain? I don't believe Denise. I don't believe her. Her face all screwed up, bitch. You're such a great actress. You couldn't even act through that. We caught you, bitch. We caught that's why you wanted Bravo Bravo Bravo. That's why you didn't want the shit to come on. Because we see your ass is lying. You couldn't even act your way through the lie, bitch. That's all I got to say about Denise. What are you lying about? What are you lying about then? That's not true. That part isn't true. What part? What are you talking about? Teddy was like, girl, you can't even get your shit together. Because you really thought that whatever you told Brandy, I'll tell your secret. So you see what's going to happen next week. Why are you beating around the bush, Teddy? I'm, I, I, there's no there's no truth. You two had sex. Garcelle was like, bitch, let's just get down to it. What the fuck is the tea? Like, stop acting. All this shit that y'all doing at this table, it doesn't have to be this dramatic. It really doesn't. It really doesn't. Bitch, Bra and then to me, I feel like if Brandy was lying, the way that just even in Denise's body language, I've been like, man, fuck that bitch. She ain't, you know, it's just, I don't know. I don't know. There's a, there's, if you watch enough people lie, you could look at them and you could tell. You could tell when somebody is lying. But you then you have to ask yourself, what does Denise have to gain? That's my whole thing. Ask yourself. What is this image that she's trying to protect? Maybe she's not trying to protect an image. Maybe she's just tired of being the wild thing. Stop putting that thing on me. I'm not a wild thing. Honey, if she and if I see one more pair, of, what did I ask you? If I see one more pair of them jeans, ha <laughs> bitch. I'm over Denise Richards. I'm over it. I, you see next week, she gonna tell it. So, that's what it is. Anyways, y'all, I know I was all over the place. Because it, it really wasn't anything. To, I don't even have any fucking notes. I love my husband. Does, what does that mean? What does that mean? What does that mean? What does that mean when somebody's head is between your legs? What does that mean for you to even say that? It doesn't even matter. That's not, I love my husband. Girl, okay. You still have Brandy's face between your legs. Next. Girl, I'm over it. That was like, let's go to the bar. Erica's like, bitch, let's go drink. Because this is, I'm stressed out. Erica looked so fly with that veil over her face, honey. She was looking there like, oh, did you say I was a cold bitch? Looking like Maleficent, honey. She was like, oh. <laughs> Bitch, did you, did you say I was a cold bitch? Because, bitch, I am. <laughs> Even though your husband tried to make it seem like, oh, God, you're, you guys are, are you guys feel good about yourself? Man, fuck Aaron, fuck Denise. Y'all, uh -uh, I don't believe, I don't believe it. I don't know what Denise is trying to save or what she's trying to protect. We'll never know. We'll never know. We will never know. And if you what if you believe Denise or you believe Brandy, it's only based on whether you like each of their personalities or not or what they've done in the past. Because like Kyle sat up there and lied and said, Brandy has never lied. But bitch, she said your husband was cheating on you. So was she not lying about that? Or now the lie, now this story is suits you because you have some issue with Denise. Now it's Brandy never lies. Girl, what is it? Like that's, it's, child, I'm done talking. Y'all take care of each other. Protect your energy. Let's get down in the comments, peace.